Finding Mr. Right today is like finding a needle in a stack of well-decorated men. They all look alike and are the same on general basis. But when examined under the social microscope, only 10% of them are actually responsible for destroying the dreams and hopes of many young women. They ruin the dating experience for most women and prevent them from checking off the one thing every woman dreams of on her vision board. Among women is a group of classy women called high-value women who don't seem to be affected in any way by the dubious and deceitful nature of these men. They can sniff out this 10% of dangerous men by their dirty tricks miles away. High-value women know these men like the back of their hand and never fall for their cheap tricks. To prevent these dangerous men from destroying your life, watch this video to the end and please give this video a like. 1. Mr. Perfect His charm lies in his seemingly perfect nature and he is the most intelligent of them all. Any woman who comes close to him does not want to leave because he is smart, well-mannered, calm and poised. He is attractive, independent and generous. He baits women with his overly generous nature and intelligence. He shows off his traits and talks very little. Because women are always eager to know more about him and why he is still single, he deprives them of such information about him, which forces them to form their own version of who he is. Women convince themselves to believe that he is the victim of love, that is why he hasn't met the right girl until now. Most of his victims often assume that they are the right partner for him. To them, they have discovered a rare gem that the girl before them was foolish enough to let go. The reason why a high-value woman never falls victim to such men is because she never draws hasty conclusions. She allows them to tell her who they really are. She listens attentively because the devil is always in the detail. One big giveaway that low-value women often miss is the fact that his last serious relationship was a long time ago. And since then, his relationships only last a few months. High-value women know that there can never be smoke without fire. They had something to do with the breakup, and not being able to maintain a serious relationship is a major red flag that desperate women choose to deliberately ignore. 2. Mr. Soulmate The difference between him and Mr. Perfect is that he knows how to maintain a serious relationship and every woman he meets is his soulmate. He is the architect of romance and nice things. He makes women feel as though they are on a perpetual honeymoon. Meanwhile, he is speed dating them. His romance is intense and short-lived. Women who are drawn to material things and enjoy novelty are often his victims. He will promise you marriage and parade you to his friends and family just to get your pants down. He will make you feel like the one and treat you like the queen you want to be and talk about marriage every now and then. He is never afraid to talk about future plans of you two together. High-value women spot such men by the way they treat the subject of marriage and how they rush things. They like to take things slow with them by playing hard to get. Because they are impatient men, they will get bored and walk away untold to the next victim. The big giveaway with them is that they claim to know much about marriage and romance, more than everyone probably because they have once been married or they have been in a very long serious relationship. They know what it takes to build a perfect home, yet they are not ready to build one for themselves. 3. The Church Rat The characteristic features of this broke-ass man is that he always dress well and he is soft-spoken. He always knows what to say and what you want to hear. He is very respectful, reassuring, and very bold. He has a black belt in lies telling and is a master of deception. Of all the men we are about to discuss, he is the con artist of them all. He is always younger than his victims and love to prey on their nurturing and caregiving instincts. He likes to date financially stable women since he is very lazy and does not like to work. The reason most women don't see the church rat for the parasite he is, is because he often presents himself as the black sheep. He plays the victim and blames the world and everyone around him for his bad luck and reassures them that he is working very hard though things are tough. He pretends to spend the little he has lavishly on them. Meanwhile, in reality, he is actually using their money on them to make them happy. Real men don't complain, and they don't blame everyone for their ill luck. 
High-value women know this difference, and they also know that real men are responsible, which is not the case with our guy. Instead of being responsible, he spends most of his time taking care of his appearance and looks. Looking good is indeed good business for them. 4. Mr. Mommy Son He is the childish of them all, but what makes him such a sweet little hobby is his affectionate and understanding nature. He is calm and thoughtful, playful, and jovial. He likes nice things, and his biggest flaw is that his mom is his best friend and a big part of his life. He is often the lone male child, or spoiled from a young age by his mom or raised by a single mother. He lures in his victims by the way he sells his relationship with his mother. There is a common belief among women that any man who loves his mother and treats her well will definitely know how to treat a woman. This is true in the way he treats women. He showers them with attention, care, and all the gifts he can lay hands on. His common victims are women longing for a real emotional connection and single mothers. They love to be intimate with women and love to gossip as well. On the flip side, he is not different from a woman. He knows how to cook, clean, and is very good with children. High-value women are often very skeptical around them. They spot them by their flamboyant nature and by their use of my mother in almost every sentence. He always talks about his mother and sometimes unknowingly declares that his mother is the love of his life. The biggest giveaway with such men is that their reference is always their mother. He cannot buy you a gift without buying his mother's own. He likes to compare you with his mother. He prefers his mother's counsel to yours. And if he were to choose between you and his mother, guess who he will choose in the comments section below. 5. Mr. Playboy. He is the oldest of them all and prefers younger women. He attracts younger women like Leonardo DiCaprio. He is well-read, well-traveled, and a risk-taker. He is your typical jack-of-all-trades master of none. His victims are mostly rebellious young women who are just starting out. They love his carefree attitude and adventurous nature. He is generous, impulsive, and loves beautiful things. He likes to associate himself with the top 1% and likes to brag about the fact that he is well-connected and has friends in top places. He makes friends easily, and he is very popular. He likes to swear and curse a lot. He is funny and very playful, rude and arrogant as well. Young women like him because he is always in support of their rebellious nature and knows how to pull them out of their comfort zone. Their age is always the big giveaway to high-value women. A typical playboy is always around his mid-30s and early 40s living life as if there is no tomorrow. High-value women can spot them from miles away. They like to surround themselves with impressionable young women, flaunt their wealth, and enjoy the attention. Playboys are the life of the party. They are adrenaline junkies who like to always be around people. They don't respect women that much. For example, he might be talking to another person while on the phone or flirting with another woman across tables with his lady beside him. And if she tries to make a fuss about it, he makes her look bad instead. Playboys like Mr. Soulmate are very intense and impatient. Once the fun stops, they disappear. 6. The Narcissist He is the most self-centered of them all. Women often mistake him for a brilliant and well-accomplished man. The truth is he is very hard-working and successful. He is always right and hates to be opposed especially by women. Women with low self-esteem are mostly his victims. They are often attracted to his confidence, willpower, and extremely decisive nature. He attracts a lot of low-value women because they make him feel good, they present him with less opposition, they are submissive to a fault. He positions himself in these women's life in such a way that they are completely dependent on him. His victims are powerless and suggestible. His relationship with his victims is more or less to that of a tyrant and his subjects. These are the kind of men who will not hesitate to use your secrets against you in public to save their face. These are the kind of men who like to quarrel or disagree with their girlfriend or wives in public. They don't care what you have to go through to make them happy. So long as they are happy, everyone is happy and vice versa. They like to use sarcasm to ridicule their opponents in public. High-value women easily spot them through the use of personal and possessive pronouns. 
My this, my that. I did that. I did this. He is possessive and very jealous. He never gets tired of talking about his plans and achievements. He doesn't care what the other person has to say except his. 7. The Control Freak He is the most controlling and jealous of them all, and the difference between him and the narcissist is that he likes to dictate his will to his victims. He likes broken and badly damaged women who have very little control over their lives. He patches them up, gives them everything, and then enslaves them to his will. If he is wealthy, he usually wants the woman to live life according to his will. Bottom line, they want you to become what you are not for their pleasure. To go out with him, you must dress in a certain way, and he must approve your dressing. He controls what you eat, what you wear, and who you hang out with. Women, especially young women, are attracted to them because of their wealth. They want a man that is already living the dream. High-value women spot control freaks through their unflinching desire to make their women look a certain way. Control freaks have this thing about them. They always have a particular trigger or feature on a woman that turns them on, and they always want their woman to wear it. For instance, Elon Musk has a thing for blonde hair women and has allegedly asked his partners to dye their hair that way. Some of them like to introduce kinky stuff to their love-making routines. They have weird fetishes and weird ways of making love to a woman. Another giveaway sign is that he is very jealous. He always want to know where you are and the person you are with. He does not want you to meet with any of your old male friends. He wants to be your everything. He is very suspicious and doesn't like it when you oppose him. Basically what a control freak wants is to lure you in with nice things and then micromanage you for the rest of your life. If you have a partner with a similar profile to any of the men described in this video, don't rush and make hasty conclusions about him. The only difference between your guy and the men described in this video is their intention so judge him based on that. Sigma females are the modern day high value women. To know more about them watch this video on your screen now to know why they are the most despised women in the world.